What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back to Fans of Something. That we are. Today, what? Oh, so that we are fans. And today, we're fans of... Greg Sestero, The Room, The Disaster Artist, all things Tommy Wiseau. And we're taking a road trip, Savannah, to Jacksonville, Florida, because tonight at Sunray Cinema, Greg Sestero will be in person. I don't think he'll watch the whole movie, but he'll be there. <laughs> And we're going to get squared because we're watching The Room. Now, we've watched The Room before, obviously. We did a watch-along on our channel uh, with uh, Dan Janjigan, who Chris played R. Chris R. himself. He won't be here tonight, but uh, we checked Dan off. Now, we're checking Greg off. Oh, hi, Mar. And really, all that's left is Tommy. So, um, but yeah, we're really excited. We're getting coffee right now. Then we're going to hop on the highway and we are going to get our butts over. I brought the, um, the disaster artist in hopes, sorry. Uh, I brought the disaster artist in hopes that, uh, Greg will maybe stick around and, uh, sign some stuff. So maybe? you never know. This might have a Greg Sestero autograph by the end of the day. That's crazy. So here we go. I can't explain There's nothing I wouldn't do for you You wanna know what I'll do? I'll tell you I will stand in the way of a bullet I will climb the highest mountains Alright, we've made it to Sunray Cinema. Greg's in there probably just chilling. Waiting for us. Gonna hopefully get this thing signed. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna explore around here for a little bit. And then we'll uh, head on in. Alright, so we're in the theater and I found this on the shelf. I wonder has this always been here? Or is it just here for tonight? And can you buy this? Because fun fact, this is the only book I've ever read cover to cover. Only book he's ever read, period. Because I can't read. He can't read. That's Greg Sestero just chilling behind the speakers. <laughs> my name is Tim Massick, owner of Sunray, along with my wife Shayna. Um, and yeah, thank you for coming out uh, for this special 20th anniversary screening of the film that everybody seems to love to hate. And uh, we've got a uh, special guest, Greg Sestero, uh, with us. And He's going to be providing live commentary throughout the film. And Greg mentioned earlier today, like he's been coming here since 2014. So it's we opened in like December of 2011. So it's, I don't know, it's pretty great that he keeps coming back. Well, hi guys. Uh, yeah, hi, thanks Mark. to the Sunray Cinema. I love love Jacksonville. I came here when the book first came out, um, and I thought, you know, wow. There's this terrible movie I was a part of. I wrote a book about it. It's uh, it's great. You guys are gonna get to read about it, and that's gonna be it. But then uh, they wanted to make a movie out of the book, of course. And then um, here we are, 20 years later. I didn't think anybody would ever see this film. I have not seen it many times at all. Um, maybe like eight times, ten times. But I'm gonna sit with you guys here tonight um, and go through it, and I'm gonna give you my best, like what it was like to be there, um, and then I'll take you up until the sex, my sex scene. <laughs> then I'm gonna take a break, I'm gonna hide out, you guys are on your own at that point. Uh, but uh, really quickly, a little surprise for you guys. Uh, two months ago, we did one of the craziest things I've ever done in relation to the room. We reshot the movie in one day, and uh, I want you guys to guess who played Johnny. How about for those that know, don't say anything. For any, anybody out there, shout your guesses out. Who would you, who would you want to see play Johnny? Daniel Day-Lewis. That, that was one of my choices for the disaster. Oh my God. Did I hear Meryl Streep? Uh, okay, so we're going to show you guys a sneak peek of Bob Odenkirk playing Johnny. You guys think this is the first time this has happened, or has this been brewing for like a while? Thanks, Greg. All right, 
right now. The best part. Time to meet Greg Sestero. What's your name? All right, so it's the next day. Uh, we've had some time to process last night, which was an incredible, incredible event. Uh, the Room 20th Anniversary Tour. Uh, and we got a couple things, as you saw there, we met Greg Sestero. And we got a couple things signed. Uh, the first thing, I'll show this, uh, because you did see me bring it. And there it is, right there. Greg Sestero, right next to Dave Franco, who played him in The Disaster Artist. So he signed right there. What I like is he actually opened it up and uh, he took out, you know, the actual, he didn't sign the plastic, he actually signed right there. So that's really cool. Um, he was just really gracious. And the cool thing is, is if you brought something for him to sign, there was no charge. So like you could meet him, get a photo, there wasn't a charge for a photo, as far as I could tell. And um, there wasn't a charge to have him sign something you brought. Now, of course, we wanted to support him further, so uh, we found uh, one, I don't know if we highlighted it in the video, I don't think we did, but there was a beautiful uh, poster that he had available for purchase. And look at this thing right here. The Room 20th Anniversary Tour. And then right down there, oh, hi, Eddie. And uh, there's his autograph. Now, in retrospect, because in the moment, you know, you're just caught up in everything, he asked, who do I sign this to? I said, Eddie. In hindsight, and Haley didn't say anything either, uh, I would have liked to have him made this out to uh, Haley and I. But uh, it is what it is. Um, this was my idea to go. Uh, I was the one that planned this, so I guess it makes sense. But uh, there it is, look at that beautiful poster. So definitely gonna get this thing framed, hung up somewhere in here. So there we go. That is everything. Oh, and before I forget, um, obviously if you've been to a screening of the room, you know that a tradition is have spoons thrown at the screen every time a spoon is in the background of the film. And uh, this was my first showing. I've been to another theater experience but that was a Rift Tracks live event, so I don't think people necessarily were trying to do the normal things. I think they were trying to focus on the Rift Tracks element of the whole thing. Um, but this one was an art house theater, so it just made sense. Um, and lo and behold, wouldn't you know, two spoons came our way. One hit Haley, one hit me. It literally landed right in my lap, so uh, we have two spoons that we uh, are going to have as mementos from the experience as well. So there we go. That's everything uh, that we uh, were able to experience with The Room, Greg Sestero. Now, all that's left, really, is Tommy. So hopefully, fingers crossed, Tommy is in our near future. I know he has Big Shark coming out. I asked Greg about Big Shark, if he's in it. Um, I think he was a little stealthy about his answer. So, because uh, if you're familiar with it, he was in the original trailer, now he's not in the uh, new trailer, but I mean, I think he is for like a brief second, but either way, I don't think he's credited currently on IMDb, so it's very bizarre, but what about Tommy isn't bizarre? So it just makes sense. So thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let us know down in the comments if you've been to a screening of The Room. Have you met Tommy, Greg, anybody from the cast? Uh, would love to hear your stories. All right, so until we see you in one of our next uh, videos or live streams, there's a couple things you can do. Totally optional. Uh, there's this option right here. And there's this option right here. But of course, as always, keep being fans of The Room.